What's up, y'all? This your boy Spirit Baby Kill, and I'm back with another message. This message for whoever run across it, whoever watching it, up until now, or a little bit later, you know, whoever watches it. So take what resonate, leave the rest out. This message for whoever sees it. So let's get to it. Thank you, absolute source. Thank you, Spirit God. Thank you, Benevolent Ancestors, and all of the Benevolent Beings for being here today, protecting me. Please, I'm Ancient Mark, and all of the protected beings protect me now as we read this Mason of Deception. Good morning, y'all. It's morning on my end. My birthday coming up, yeah. Ooh. So if you mess with your boy, go definitely um tap in with me, Spirit Baby Kill, everywhere. See how you can give me. Oh, yo, it's my birthday. Just a happy birthday, I'll be, I'll be grateful. My birthday Sunday, March 12th. Pisces, baby, man. Big Pisces, baby. Giving and receive. Judgment. Ten of Pentacles. Completion of a cycle. Queen of Cups. Wow. Oh, wait. That one the first card. This was the first card. Remember, yeah, I do three cards, and the card on the bottom of the deck summarizes all the cards. So, into one and then the three give a description of that one that was the first of the three six of pentacles and you had judgment which was the second core of the three you had ten of cups completion of an emotional cycle um that was the third core and the generalized core of the whole dick was the queen of the cups it's an intuitive spread <laughs> So the Queen of Cups basically like she just open, intuitive. Yeah, I already know that though. Extremely intuitive. A highly attuned emotional intelligence, love and compassion, sensitivity, strength, empathy, leading with your heart and healing. In shadow, it could be controlling or suppressing emotions, feeling insecure, a need to listen more, irrationality, irrationality, emotional blackmail, being melodramatic. An opportunity to be responsible for your own emotions. The Queen of Cups is one of the most intuitive characters of the tarot, flowing in her dream like dream like state of spiritual connection. She asks how, you how well your emotions have been serving you lately and reminds you that you have the ability to connect on a much deeper level. Level <laughs> feel and accept your emotional intuition. Listen closely as a way to understand what is truly going on and ensure that other people feel heard when you communicate with them. Devote time to their emotional cues and see the divine beauty in all of life experiences. It takes both sun and shadow to make the ocean floor sparkle. In shadow, this card can indicate that you are out of touch with your emotions or that you are suppressing your feelings while refusing to see the obvious. If you are feeling any securities around openly connecting with others, growing to a better partner by vulner vulnerably sharing your own tender heart. And the affirmation of the card is, my intuitive heart openly expresses deep love. Wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so that card was just saying diving more into your emotions and being able to lead with your heart without your heart being filtered by so much other stuff. So that's why they want you to dive more into yourself. <clears throat> I'm sorry I got this little basic voice, but it's early in the morning. <laughs> it's like how I noticed my voice was kind of basic. <laughs> I just be thinking the stuff. Okay, six of Pentacles. Uh, to die after the Queen of Cups, six of Pentacles, two way abundance, giving and receiving, being charitable, a positive and generous mindset, advance me, awakening, inflow, help coming from others. In shadow, it could be one way flow of abundance, over giving or over receiving, hoarding and holding on to what you have, choosing not to help, being uncharitable, selfishness, or ter ooh, ulterior motives, and ability to accept help. Being open to get 
Being open to give to others and to receive from others are states that we must all cultivate. This car asks you how to experience these consciously. How does helping others make you feel? It feels good, right? Abundant, heart-centered, gifting your time, money, or energy to someone else who opened up the floodgates of new resources coming your way. Be generous with everything you have learned and remain conscious of the flow of abundance from the universe. Consider these sacred dualities, learning and teaching, receiving and giving, accepting and offering. Open your heart to this sacred balance of energy and fill in any gaps you may have around scarcity and, abu- and abundance. It will imbue your life with compassion and generosity and usher in new states of prosperity. Donating your energetic resources to help others will be life-changing for those in need. Choose a cause that moves your soul and watch your feelings of prosperity shift. I show gratitude for my life through generosity and compassion. That's getting into the flow of abundance right there, righteous. Giving to a point where it ain't no problem. It ain't just a give, if giving everything away. Give everything away. But now, most definitely be conscious and try to throw yourself in that loop of money by giving time, energy, teaching. When I teach folks, give me stuff. Just give it. And I be like, what? But that's what the course is. You gotta learn how to be comfortable with giving and receiving. Cause people need it. It's out here. It ain't just money people need. 20 is judgment. Number 20, the next card was judgment. Feeling. <sighs> Self realization and understanding. Spiritual awakening. Redemption. Knowing your motives and your heart to be true. Total transparent, total transparency, a glorious unveiling of spirit. In shadow, it can be self-doubt, hiding behind many masks, a need to let go of shadow aspect of your story, denying yourself and your loved ones, the experience of your true nature or essence. You have judged others and have been judged yourself. You are awakening to the understanding that the only approval that really matters is your own. Are you doing your best with others and with yourself? It's time to shed any negative facade, drop the mask behind the mask. It may feel risky, yet this profound act of self-acceptance will unleash your absolute essence. You are light, shadow, matter, and conscious, and you are a miracle. Why then do you keep your true nature hidden away from the world? There is no way to really understand your full potential until you are open and honest with your own heart, without judgment. To expand and evolve requires this colossal forgiveness of the self. Forgive your beautiful soul. Accept your beautiful heart. As you do, you consciously answer the call of your highest self, and the vastness of your horizon will make itself available to you. The affirmation is, Hello, Essence. I invite you every day. I invite you to show up every day. I invite my soul to shine unapologetically. Yeah. Wow. So diving deeper. Exactly. Forgiving yourself. Wow. I'm finna go deep. We go do oh I'm finna go dig in it. That, oh, that's all I'm finna do today. Forgiving myself. Ten of Cups is and then the next one was Ten of Cups, I'm sorry. Community, love, soulmates, harmony and relationships and family, divine connections, heart opening and expansion, wholeness. In shadow it could be disharmony or disputes, miscommunications, struggling relationships, unrealistic expectations, not feeling worthy of love, a delay. This car has the powerful energy of connected hearts, giant love, and devoted acceptance, often seen as the one big happy family card. It's a giant yes for relationships and love, and, pre- and it predicts your he- your fairy tale ending. And hey, you got to, you get to decide what this soul and unicorn ending looks like. Allow your heart's expansive energy to pour into all of your connections, including those with your community. In shadow, this card suggests that you need to look at how you feel about yourself within relationships. If you are looking for a white picket fence in order to find happiness, remember that your joy will come only from the inside out. By waiting for other people or better things to create your happiness for you, you undermine your own power to create feelings of love. Bring gratitude and generosity to your life every day. Focus on others and give them your energy through time, kindness, and service. I live in a state of oneness by bringing harmony and love to my relationships. Okay, the affirmation was, I live in a state of oneness by bringing harmony and love to my relationships. So after doing that deep dive, forgiving yourself more, uh... In the giving and receiving, so giving out your energy, time, money to receive it back that what you're looking for and diving more into yourself. Um, t- 
to um get into better states. I mean, deeper states of love, more passionate uh states. Of, I mean, I mean em more passionate emotional um states. That's balanced and um actually freeing yourself from yourself. Forgive yourself. Dive into yourself. Forgive yourself. Give out some of that love, and I promise you, it's gonna come back to you time ten. Spirit baby kid everywhere on um Instagram, Facebook. TikTok, and Sunny at Dreams369.com. Tap in with me, please. Um, not please, but yeah, please. I would love the support. But, uh, yeah, have a blessed, beautiful day. Um, I want to say more. <laughs> yeah, have a blessed, beautiful day. And yeah, right now, just give out energy. Not just give out energy like you just overflowing, goddamn cup, but give out well you trying to see that to come back give out without looking to receive back that's basically what's going on right now because it's going to come back time to you.